Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and in this video you're not going to see me in the bottom right corner because my webcam is not hooked up right now. I ran out of USB ports, so you'll have to bear with not seeing my face. Uh, in this video, uh, we're going to go over how to move to 3H. Now this is specifically for those running Docker, and I honestly, if you're running Linux and you want to use subspace, I highly recommend just using Docker. It's so easy. Uh, it makes everything a lot easier. So uh, for anybody that's followed my previous guides and is using Docker, this is this should help you get to the next, uh, to 3H, the, the new chain that's out. So there is a forum post that covers every single change, and I highly recommend reading this. I already asked some stupid questions that were already in this guide in the discord and they will scold you appropriately uh, for not reading this and asking a question where the answer is in here um, we're not going to be totally following this guide there is a wipe command um, that if you have the binaries and you're you're running those commands you'd be able to wipe your node but uh, i'm just going to do it manually and for docker this is actually pretty easy so Let's actually bring up Portainer here. I've already moved over Charlie, and this is really early, so you may see something different. But for me right now, um, we're getting these errors, but uh, we're really early, only block 500, 600 or so. They're coming in real quick. Um, you can see the amount of uh, network traffic is really, really high right now. Um, and then uh, even though these blocks are coming in. I, I, I guess I'm synced, but if I go, and I'm showing this mainly just because if you're confused by what you see, um, you know, it might be similar to what I'm seeing, but I am actually plotting, even though I don't know if I'm synced or not. The blocks are definitely coming in, but it's a little bit different because I right now they're running like the seed farmer, which is basically like, the only one farming things right now. So eventually everybody will be able to participate. I guess I'm plotting whatever's being seeded right now. But either way, uh, this guide is most, mostly about uh, converting things over. So let's get into Delta. And I'm doing Delta this time. We'll go into our um, stack for subspace. And the first thing you're going to want to do is we don't need these nodes anymore. Uh, you can go ahead and select them and then just click stop. And you could probably just click remove right from the start, but I like to stop them first. And then I will remove them because we no longer need these. And we need to remove those because the next thing we want to do is go into volumes and delete the node data volume that you had created or that was created automatically when you launched your stack file. So we're removing this because we want to start fresh. We don't want any existing node data. All right, with that done, we can move to Termius and I'm in Delta, the host Delta right now. And we can see I have these subspace and then there's one down here, directories, drives that have four terabytes and they're completely used up basically. So what I want to do is actually remove all the data that's on those. So I'm going to do sudo rm-r media subspace subspace 01 and then everything within that drive. You're obviously going to change that uh, to wherever yours are. Go ahead and delete it. And it does take a second because, of course, you have a, a lot of data on there. And you could reformat the drives, I guess, and all that jazz. But this seems like a much easier route to go. I have four of these, so it shouldn't take too long. And you want to be careful, of course, when running any sort of sudo rm command because you could potentially delete very important files and it is difficult to get those back once those are deleted. So, all right, now if I do 
df-h, we can see that these now have only 1% used. There's another one somewhere, 1% used. So now all of our farming data is gone, all of our node data is gone, and the next thing we need to do is update our stack file. So let me swap things back over. We are now looking at the browser again. We're going to go into stacks, substack, and we're going to edit the stack. And I found it's easiest just to copy this this over. Um, there's a few intricacies about mine or a few differences from mine that you're going to have to sort of pay attention to. One of those is that I'm running, uh, if I open up my stacks, I have what's called a base stack. And in this base stack, which these should be running, um, I create a, a network here and I'm just reusing that network inside here. So you can see I take my base stack and I'm grabbing the external network. If you're just running a network inside your stack file, you can do that. Uh, just make sure you're choosing the, the correct network for your files. Um, so that's a little bit different. Um, you're going to want to actually I have it all written out in here, basically. But um, so yeah, so I have an external network. I have four disks. So if we look in here, uh, I have these four disks that I'm going to be bringing in, and I have the four uh, paths in my command. You're going to want to update that to be whatever is applicable for you. You're going to want to update the reward address. This is my reward address, unless you want to give me your rewards. Um, and then let's see, what else do we have in here? Um, oh yeah, and then the name. So I actually always forget to do this, but for your node, this is going to be Delta because we are now uh, on the Delta node. And the last thing that I do because I'm forwarding these ports and I'm running multiple farmers is I need to actually update all of these ports. Now you shouldn't have to do this unless you're running multiple farmers. So let's see, ports are done there. This is always such a pain. Port, 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 oh, there we go. It's like surgery. I'm always worried I'm forgetting something here. Five, five, and I'm doing five because I have, this is my third node, and I started out with three, then I did four, and now I'm on five. So if you are running multiple nodes, this is one method to do it. There's other ways you can do it as well, but this one is the one that works the best for me. I think I've got them all done. Just gonna do one more quick update or one more quick check here. Five. I shouldn't see any threes at the end of these. All right. If you saw something, let me know, or else I'm gonna continue. Uh, okay. So it should be good uh, for me because I run all my nodes the same. Basically, they all have these four drives. Uh, they all are mounted to the same thing. I can just copy paste these and then just update the ports. But just make sure you're actually putting in your drives here. This never works on the first try, but we're gonna we're gonna see if it does. I always make some error. So yeah, once you finish up, you can click deploy, and it does take a little while before it actually deploys. So we're giving it a minute here to do what it needs to do. And then hopefully we'll be looking good. But, uh, oh, so, so some things that you want to pay attention to is like some new things in here is this run command is run. This farmer is no longer validator. It's now farmer. Um, there are some differences as far as, um, how some of the plotting works. So definitely make sure you're looking through here. There's a lot of new commands. There's a whole bunch of new stuff going on. A lot of things have been removed. Okay, so I think it worked. So let's go into node. Yep, 14 peers. I'm gonna need to open my ports. I haven't done that yet. So I'm probably not gonna get too many peers, but I am going to be syncing here shortly. And if we go back, we check out the farmer. Farmer is looking good. It's not synced yet, so of course it's going to wait. All four of my drives have been detected. Everything's looking good. So I am now on 3H. Now keep in mind that 3H isn't incentivized yet, uh, but if you start plotting, 
you're going to have more space plotted when it rewards switch over to 3H from 3G. So you'll start earning rewards faster. So it's kind of like a trade-off. I think it's a negligible. It's, and I might as well just move to the next network so that I can learn it and figure it out uh, and then be ready. You know, whereas people moving over later, they might have, you know, some troubles or they might be a little bit behind. But then again, if you move over later, all the bugs and kinks might be worked out. So it's really a personal choice. I'm just going to be slowly moving everything over over the next week. Um, I've, I only have like 10 different computers that are running this, but uh, time is short. I want to make these videos and I have a lot more videos that I'm coming out with. So um, I'm just going to be updating them slowly. But that's it. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. Hopefully you didn't miss me too much in the corner. Uh, next video, I will have it back up. Um, but that's it. Happy plotting on 3H. And now that 3H is out, I'm going to be pumping out lots of videos. So I will see you in the next one.